glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both of these defenses make highlight reels all the time because they will flat knock the taste out of your mouth. But perhaps even more impressive, this is not just a group that only delivers big hits. Both groups extremely well-rounded from the front all the way to the secondary. Tough to find a weakness on either side on defense. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Chase has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. And he just got drilled. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country, and you and I have been looking forward to this. Bush's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played with. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, he'll give you a chance at least shutting him down. And he tackles him hard at the 27. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 27. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds. At about the 35. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on their own 35. Murphy gets the carry. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. And the short gain is enough for the first. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. Steps up in the pocket. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 41. Now he's scrambling. He's at midfield. Tackle around the 47-yard line. catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety, so the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. From the 47-yard line, second down. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Here's the eighth play of the series. Hey, 
gets it. He's in space. Brought down around the 22-yard line. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. From the 22-yard line, first down. Bring him down at about the 13. That brings up second and tenth play of the drive. He gets another carry. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at it. Hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Pressured and brought down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, South Carolina! And he adds the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's take you down to San Antonio. And for Texas State, they've won two straight. The Bobcats win it, 34-31. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Florida's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Tries to get around the corner. A gain of eight on the carry. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's tackled at the 33. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that pass. complete he's got room to work he's taken down at the 41 first down from their own 41 yard line first down they line up in the jumbo set they give to the tailback gets to about the 41 yard line and the halfback's got nowhere to go the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game in five yards. That'll make it 35. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. South Carolina's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He's on the run. And now he's going to run. 
and he's taken down at the 37. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence, and somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. Gets out to around the 28. And we'll take a break while the injured player is attended to. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Complete. He scores. What a play. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. Will be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, we've been watching this one going on in Manhattan. The Wildcats rushing attack can be difficult to stop, and they get into the end zone for a touchdown. And for Anderson, he scored a touchdown. TCU has the edge, 10-7. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at seven in this one. Chase is lined up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 45. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He makes his way to about the 42. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. The Gators saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Quick throw to the tight end. And down he goes to the 33-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Carter can pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Touchback. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Strike to his receiver, no good. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. First down. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. That brings up second and nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gets it out in a hurry. It's knocked away, incomplete. 
He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 37. That makes it first and 10. From the 37 yard line, first down. Tackle at the 20. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. From the 20 yard line, first down. He makes his way out to about the 12. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. The Gators will use their first time out of the half. This is the ninth play of this drive. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. Third down again. Quick strike and it's caught for the touchdown. TD catches now. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 10-play, 82-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 30. South Carolina has gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but... I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Tackles him hard at the 45-yard line. South Carolina will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. There's a very impressive open field tackle. down but he saw that no one was open so he made the right decision to tuck it and run caught and up for the first down brought down at about the 33 yard line murphy picks them up about five yards on that pass play and that one will move the sticks this quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive They get the sack. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. 
If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. He's going to air it long. He's hit and taken down. A great first half comes to a close. 14-7, Gators. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Bird from the three. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. Florida is up seven. Nice run, and he's brought down. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. First down. He's going to try and scramble. And he's level at the 42-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled in the open field. That makes it first and ten. And he's tackled right away. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's tackled around the 31-yard line. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back. Right. Florida is up a score. Gets out to around the 22. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. And this play is number eight on the drive. To the right and tackled immediately. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He 
makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. First down. Here's play number 10 on the drive. They're packed in tight on the line. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 19 yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 19. He fights forward to about the 16. We're at the 12th play of the drive. He's scrambling. He's taken down at about the 15-yard line. Well, that's a big-time stop by the defense. You know, Brad, one of the things that all defensive coordinators always try to emphasize is their ability to stop offenses on third down. That is a big stop, and I think it's going to have a lot to do with the outcome of this football game. And he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Patrick from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Florida is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Here we go, now he tries to buy some time, and he's taken down at the 32. That makes it second and eight. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll bring up third and inches. Makes it out to about the 49. That's three down and one to go. The Gators with a 10-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He makes his way out to about the 35. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35. Here we go. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled around the 27 yard line. That makes it second and two. Gets out to about the 25 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. This is the eighth play of the drive. Tackled 
tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second to go. From the three-yard line, it's second down. And down he goes at the one. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it third and goal. This is the tenth play of this drive. That's right, baby. They don't want it. Close the fight. They're crowding the line. Set, check, check. Eagle. Going left on the counter. Touchdown, South Carolina. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. The draw within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top team roll. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for TCU, here's a team that's been ice cold. TCU has the edge, 30 to 24. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. South Carolina lines up for the kickoff. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Less than three minutes in the game. Grant on the give, and they got him for a loss. From their own 26-yard line, second down. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Cunningham to punt. Brought down at the 37 yard line. You know, this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Quick pass. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Tackle made at the 48. That's a big first down for this offense. Remember, the clock is a big-time factor here. They're driving late in the game. Maybe to decide the outcome of the game, you've got to keep an eye on that clock as you move the ball down the field. From the 48-yard line, first down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Pulls it in, and he could score. He lost the ball, and the ball bounces out of bounds.
from the 23 yard line. First down. Scrambling around. Got some open field. Nice play to set up first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, and that's going to give them the lead. The Gamecocks sideline just erupting over there as their quarterback got to the end zone. What a run. What a big moment in this game. The quarterback takes it into the end zone for a potential game-winning touchdown. They have good reason to be celebrating on those sidelines. And he converts the extra point. So a five-play, 63-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. They line up to kick this one away. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. This is what you dream about, situations like this. You've got the football, you're behind, but if you take the lead, it could mean a win. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Quick throw, and they push him out right around the 36-yard line. First down. First and ten, ball on the 36-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 48-yard line. The Gators will use their first time out of the half. Scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. And we've seen just why many call this kid one of the best defensive players in the country. This guy is just at another level. It just looks like he is stronger and faster than everybody else on the field. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the 45-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. He's scrambling, and he dives forward. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. That makes it second and six. The spike will stop the clock. Here's the eighth play of the series. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. Deep pass to the end zone. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He's going to go for the home run. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Gamecocks get the victory, 21-17. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch. Florida played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way.
That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.